A 12-win season and a victory in a BCS Bowl is quite an accomplishment, but at Texas, the standards are much higher. Four years after winning their last national championship, the Longhorns think it's time for another one. So if we go out there having fun, relaxing, playing really hard, competing with each other, then we have a chance to, to be really good. Uh, we just got to continue to do that. And for me personally, uh, it's my senior year, so I want to have fun. I want it to be special. Um, you know, I, I, I can't imagine uh, you know, a more fun year than it could be this year. After finishing as the runner-up in Heisman Trophy voting last season, Colt McCoy is back for one more year. Last season, he set an NCAA record by completing over 76% of his passes and led Texas to a win in the Fiesta Bowl. In 2009, he and his teammates hope to be just a little bit better. He knows so much about our offense. Uh, he knows every position. He can, he can uh, turn around and tell the running back what to do, or he can tell the center what to do. You know? So I think you know, as far as that goes, just, just being able to, to, to know everybody's roles and also be able to audible to different things because he, he knows you know, all the defenses so well, I think he's, he's going to be definitely really good. And so should the rest of the team. The Longhorns appear to have one of their most talented teams in recent years and are ranked number two in the AP preseason poll. Head coach Mack Brown says the competition in practice can have huge benefits later in the season. We've got really good players on both sides of the ball. And one of the great things about our team is that when they prepare in practice against our players, they will not see better players. They may see as good a player, but they will not see a better player at that position probably all year. So if they can compete in practice against what we've got, then they have a chance to really do well in the game. Senior wideout Jordan Shipley has deep threat speed and should be McCoy's favorite target. But after the loss of leading receiver Quan Cosby, the challenge is to find someone to consistently produce across from Shipley. So far, that looks to be junior James Kirkendall, who made some big plays in key spots last season. Well, James is just rock solid. I mean, he's a... He's, uh... He's just, you know, he's one of the most consistent guys we have, I think. He had a great year last year. Uh, his role is probably going to increase a little bit this year. He's playing really well. Uh, he's, he's just consistent. He runs great routes. He gets open. And uh, in our offense, uh, when you have a guy like that that you can count on every play, uh, it really helps. And we're so proud he's catching every ball. He, he's so smart. He can play most of the positions. In fact, he can play all the offensive positions right now. He might even move out to X if we needed him out there, if, if Jordan took a break. Um, and you, you know what you get. He caught the ball on the fourth down against Ohio State, and he's sure-handed, and we knew he knew where the chains were, and he's just a smart football player. The defense was first in the Big 12 in yards and points allowed per game last year, and they have the potential to be just as good. The players will benefit from a full season under second-year defensive coordinator Will Muschamp. We always look at what we did last year, and, you know, the numbers were good, but we could always get better. It was always games where we slipped up, and now that we know the defense, he expects more out of us, so instead of being good, he wants us to be great. The unit will have to replace the pass rush of first-round draft pick Brian Arakpo, which should fall on Sergio Kendall, who will line up as both a linebacker and a defensive end. Kendall posted double-digit sacks last season as a junior. Mac Brown sees no problem with Kendall and his teammates filling the gap. Sergio's so powerful, he just runs over them and, and is so quick. And Sergio really helped himself in the offseason. He's more flexible, he's in better shape. He's about 260-something pounds. Uh, and, and then we're really pleased with what we've seen in the early stages of Alex Okafor from pass rushing. We also have uh, Sam Achos really developing himself into an outstanding pass rusher. As usual, expectations are high, and the Longhorns have their sights set on a national title. They have the talent, but Brown says they'll need to play at the highest level day in and day out. You can't have a bad day. Uh, leaders can't have a bad day. But if a guy comes out and says, I had a bad day, how do we know that's not going to be the Oklahoma game? I don't want to hear it. I've got a headache. Well, if the doctor has released you and you got a headache, then play with a headache. and Play well. I'm out there with a headache. In Austin, Texas, I'm Wendell Barnhouse for Big12Sports.com.